so a while back I wrote a uh, I wrote a really long article how to write a resume for a call center application so um, so it's really important to remember that when you write a resume you're trying to sell yourselves to sell your services to the company you are the product okay so the resume functions as a brochure so it's a form of advertisement and without with that in mind remember that when you make your resume your resume has to be short so people don't read like full information on the articles they just want the important details make sure that everything you put on your resume is relevant so remember that the uh, co common positions in the call center customer service, sales, and uh, tech support. So you act accordingly. Uh, highlight the jobs that are, if you've had a job that deals with the customers, make sure that you have that there. You have a job that deals in sales, make sure you have that there. You have a, uh, an old job that deals with computers, make sure you have that there. And if you don't have those uh, experiences, but you took some seminars, you took some lessons, put it there um, make sure that you uh, write a short resume and be very specific about your job description put up your accomplishments note that what uh, note the things that you're responsible for uh, write down like uh, if you were doing sales I was responsible for selling this amount on your resume next um, be specific about your um, accomplishments like um, like if you've had if you have an award feel free to share that and then make sure that you use a professional uh, email address do not use something like a sexy angel butterfly at yahoo.com or I love chocolate whatever at hotmail.com use an email address that has your name so uh, one of my uh, email addresses is kevinolega at gmail.com and I recommend that you open a similar email address if you haven't already done so. Uh, next is place your active contact numbers at the top of your resume. When you submit a job application and you qualify, the rec recruiter will call you and or email you to schedule an interview or do a phone interview. When I was working in recruitment, if I couldn't reach an applicant, on his or her mobile number or landline I'd move on to the next applicant and put the resume in the trash can so make sure that you put your active contact number at the top and make sure that you answer the phone next make your uh, resume e easy to read do not use any crazy designs um, do not use any like script or something I use Arial, Verdana or Calibri if you, I'm using a Windows based computer I, mean, I use Helvetica for a Mac based computer chances are uh, you might be using Google Docs Google Docs has really nice fonts stay away from using resume wizards I usually have a hard time resume uh, writing a resume um, if you go to the website called centertrainingtips.com I have a template for a resume you can go get that and then also remove any personal information so in a call center, they're only interested if you know how to speak in English, you know how to follow uh, follow orders, you know how you, you have good attendance, you have good attitude. So personal information like height, weight, date, on birth, date of birth, and religion are not relevant. They waste time, ink, paper, and attention. Call center recruiters are um, after what you can do for them and not your vital statistics. You're not a model. But if you are a model, yeah, you are a model, whatever. Uh, they might like you for that. Um, but like most of, the, most of the people were not models, don't put that there. So you don't need to put your age, not unless you're below 18 or over 60. Uh, call centers usually does not discriminate with age. Do not put your date, date of birth unless you're hoping that the recruiter is trying to figure out your zodiac sign because I used to work work for a boss who did this uh, don't uh, they don't care about your height they don't care about your weight they don't care about your race eye color nationality religion sex social security number tax identification number big number so these information do not belong on your resume 
And then there's this annoying thing at the bottom. I hereby declare that all the information is true and correct. And then a signature. You don't need that on your resume. So, um, one of the most common questions, to add a picture or to not add a picture. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and answer that while we have time. Um, in American culture, using a picture in a resume brings up talks like uh, related to discrimination and racism. But we're in the Philippines, but we're dealing with companies that deal with American companies. So it's different. So now, here's the thing. What I did was I tried going with a um, no photo approach, but in my experience, the security guards and the receptionists always ask for a picture anyway. And uh, it's a hassle sticking photos to the resume. So I later decided to just add a picture to my resume. So when I print it, there's like a small photo of myself. And um, one advantage is if, if you look good, you'll show up on your resume uh, more confident. That's, that's really, really helpful. And the advantage of having a, a photo of uh, yourself on your resume is when they... So they, they take your resume, they read it, and if they like you, they'll, uh, they'll make you wait for a few minutes, they'll call you out. And when they call you, they know who you are because there's a photo there, there's a name. They're not just blindly calling out your name, so that's very, that's very helpful. The other thing is you look for a uh, typo, like wrong spellings or uh, wrong punctuation. Just make sure that your resume has everything else. Uh, everything on it and so ask someone else to look for typos ask them to take a look at your resume and then make sure that you print your uh, uh, print your resume on good quality paper and ink make sure you print 30 copies of your resume use a hard envelope and uh, additional tip so after you submit your resume be prepared to answer your phone expect all unrecognized phone numbers as your interviewer if you miss a call, call them back. If they don't answer, call them back twice. If they still don't answer, send them a text. If you don't get an answer and just say that, I'm sorry, I miss your call, may I know who's this? Don't answer with who's this or worse, answer in Tagalog na sino ba to? So here's how I answer. So like, you miss a call, I just say, hello, good morning, afternoon or evening, may I know who's this? And then if you have, um, any additional questions about the resume feel free to visit my website it's called centertrainingtips.com so call centertrainingtips.com and that's my website thank you so much for uh, supporting my facebook page my youtube channel so this small my instagram account this small call center show thank you uh, thank you so much for the support and I'll uh, try to make more videos. Okay, bye for now.